Wonder whose arms will hold you good and tight when it's exactly twelve o'clock that night, welcoming in the new year, new year's Eve. Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to achieve this very glamorous makeup look. This is also a collaboration with Alyssa's Aesthetics here on YouTube. She is such a doll and she has one of those perfectly gorgeous faces that when you're scrolling through Instagram, you're like, okay, okay, and you're just kind of like scrolling through and then you're like, wait, oh my goodness, she's really pretty. So you agree, you think you're really pretty. <laughs> but I just think that she is so adorable and she's so kind and sweet and so good at what she does. So if you want to see her half of this makeup look. She's doing her own champagne look. She's doing it very focused on champagne lips. Now I also gave you a nude option here in today's video because this is definitely bold and very retro in style. So if you're not into the bold lips and just want a nice nude glossy lip, I give you that option as well. But personally for me, I am loving this whole retro starlet look. This is the way that I would do myself up every day if I had the time and the patience. <laughs> but just this hair alone took me ages. And then you know all about liquid lipsticks and how long they take to perfect, especially when they are this dark. But I absolutely love this look. This was very exciting to do a champagne inspired look, especially for New Year's Eve. Now I am posting this a little bit earlier in December because I am going to be taking a nice Christmas break. Hi, hello, um, excuse me. I just have to uh, interrupt myself here for a second. So I wanted to let you know that my Christmas break means that I am only taking the week of Christmas off from posting a video. Now the week after Christmas, I have a very special video coming your way. So so definitely tune in and subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And I will also be continually posting to social media. So you can find my accounts here, here, and here. All at Faces by Kate B. All right, that's it. Okay, bye. So if you want to wear this to any kind of holiday party, it is perfectly acceptable for that as well. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So first I'm going to pick up this Sephora eyeshadow and this is in the shade Faux Fur Jacket, just like the one I was wearing previously. Yes, it is faux. I would never ever wear real fur. So I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to place it into the outer V of my eye and I thought I was going to leave it all the way out there, but I instead went with a more halo eye effect, which means that it comes all the way into the inner corner and all the way out to the outer corner, creating a nice halo look that I'm just whisking away any fallout. Then I'm going to grab Absolute New York's waterproof gel liner and this is in the shade Mystical and I'm going to place it onto my lid as a nice little gel base to set Elizabeth Mott's Champagne Eyeshadow. This is perfect for this look and it unfortunately broke. That's why I was so sad, but it still works. It's still beautiful and I love it. So I'm just going to use my finger and place this right on top of where I placed down that pencil. You see it again. What's nice is that this is a gel liner, so it kind of works as a glitter glue. I think at least. Then this is NYX. This is their deep bronze shadow. I have really liked the NYX individual eyeshadows. I haven't been really big on their eyeshadow palettes, but their individual shadows have been really, really good. So I'm going to grab this little detail crease brush and I'm going to place it into my crease <laughs> just to deepen up the ombre effect. So I'm just going right above where all of that glitter is, but I'm not going to go up too high into the other shade. Then I'm going to use my color switch by Vera Mona to use the same brush, but again grabbing my faux fur jacket color and placing this again as a halo effect. So in the inner corner and the outer corner and kind of ignoring that middle section because I'm going to grab that same liner, place it right in the middle, and then I'm going to get, get, get this. 
<laughs> little detail brush and pick up champagne and place it right on top so that it mirrors what's going on on the top lid. And then I'm going to grab NYX. This is their pixie color and I love this. So I'm grabbing a pencil brush to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. I love doing this. I think it's gorgeous. And then I'm going to grab the Miracle product of 2016. You can expect to see this in my top products of 2016. That'll be coming up in January. This, this, what? This makes eyeliner so much easier, especially if you're going for a wing. Oh my goodness, I used to really panic and freak out when eyeliner was coming up. I still cross my fingers, hoping that the wing is going to be even. But if you really kind of eyeball it and make sure when you look straight into the mirror that they match up, this makes it super easy. You're just painting it on with the tiny, tiniest little detail brush and it makes it super easy. Very happy girl. Then I'm going to put on some mascara on the top and lower lashes. Then I'm using Maybelline's Define Line again on my waterline and I'm going to tight line with this as well. Then I'm grabbing House of Lashes Starlit Lashes. What could be better for this? And the much loved Duo Glue. That's what makes it so hard to get open. Then I'm going to set them aside, give them a little bit of time to have that glue dry. And then I'm grabbing Max Blush in Blush Baby. Everybody who knows me knows that this is my favorite blush because it has appeared in pretty much every tutorial I have done. That's a bit of an overstatement, but that is how much I love it. I bought it for my kit because I've used it on so many clients and they've all been really happy with it. It's a perfect neutral. And then what would a champagne look be without using champagne pop? I'm using this perfect little BH brush that I used in my how to make your highlight pop video, blending the two together and then popping on the lashes. Super easy when you've let the glue dry. Then I'm putting on some mascara to make sure that they all blend in together. And then I'm going to grab Max Modesty Lipstick. This, in my eyes, is the perfect nude shade. I wore it all the time, spring, summer. This just blends super easily, super smooth, and I love it. Then I'm going to grab ColourPop's new Ultra Glossy Lip, and this is in the shade Fairy Floss. Kathleen Lights is the one who told me all about this and she was totally right when she said that this was her favorite shade in the whole line. Now I only ordered this one and I'm probably going to be ordering more because I love the gloss formula. So this is the way that look looks with a nude lip. Now for me, I definitely like the bolder lip, but I wanted to give you nude, nude girls, <laughs> nude lipstick girls the option. Then I'm grabbing this MAC lip liner. This is the color Vino, I believe is how you pronounce this. And this is a perfect plummy red shade, but it's going to be nice and covered up with a ColourPop liquid lipstick. Very attractive, Kate. This is in the shade Avenue. Yeah, it's kind of weird looking, <laughs> but then I'm just going to paint this on. You want to make sure you don't go over it too many times. It needs to be blended and seamless, but if you keep going over and over it, it can get a little patchy. And now this is your completed champagne look. Very retro, very stylish. Ah, love it. If you liked what you saw here in today's video, please click right on over there to subscribe. And you can also check out other videos by me by clicking right there. And I have others linked down below along with all of the products I use here in today's video. All right, my darlings, I love you all very dearly and I will see you next year. Merry Christmas and I hope you have an amazing New Year's Eve.